Devil Riders, originally titled as Poker Run, is a 2009 horror film from the fringiest of Fringe, California, written and directed by two brothers, I guess. Our story takes place in the middle of a poker run, a desert bike rally between Victoriaville and Vegas, as bikers Ray and Billy abduct suburban lawyers Robert and Alan's wives and leave the two men with an ultimatum of death if they ever hope to see the women alive again. Devil Riders is the product of a late 2000s trend of normies versus psychopaths in films such as Eden Lake and The Strangers, birthed within the twilight of the torture porn genre as films sought to broaden their appeal by focusing on suspense more so than gore. Of course, the subgenre had little else to go soon after, due to the release of a Serbian film, as no one could really top that effort. Legally, of course. Devil Riders distinguishes itself above its contemporaries by incorporating biker culture into the proceedings. This tale of two psychopathic bikers terrorising two suburban couples is little more than a human zoo, like most horror films from the time. An emotionally exhausting but never truly rewarding experience, the performances are what saves this film from being a completely disengaging slog. Elsewhere, the plot is too contrived, the cinematography lacks scope and the music is completely forgettable and just plain noise. The film maintains an oppressive atmosphere quite well, but with this amount of intensity, it's very difficult to just pass off the downright ineptness at times of the filmmaking as just low-budget shortcomings. They are plainly distracting and break the immersion instead of simply adding regional flavour as they would in a film more ethereal than this one. Torture porn films, which are so basic, can only be effective, mediocre or terrible and Devil Riders is just plain mediocre. The storytelling, however, I must say, is quite solid, with enough of a grasp of its Tales from the Crypt-like tone, occasionally losing it with moments that are too extreme for what is overall a knowingly campy film. So, in conclusion, Devil Riders, for a product of its time, is exceptionally well acted and scripted. However, the production values are too unbalanced and more often than not, it gets confused over what kind of film it's trying to be. It's a mixed bag to be sure and I don't know if it's going to be too extreme for fans of classic biker films or not extreme enough for Saw fans. Devil Riders is its own film, but it's just not that good. Thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe. Tomorrow's film is Jennifer Lynch's Surveillance.